Hey, 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 what's up, YouTubers and retro players? Welcome back to Dennis Fleeman's YouTube channel. Today, we are visiting a garret sale in a small village. These kinds of markets are becoming more and more popular in the north of Holland. People are selling their unwanted household goods in their garage or in the front garden. So let's see what we can find today. We're starting off strong here with some Wii games. Oh, wait, never mind. They're just a bunch of white DVD cases. Lol. But we do have some PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 games here. Sadly, the games aren't that interesting. The only two exceptions are... The Suffering. A dark horror action game developed by Surreal Software. In this game you play as a death row inmate that has to escape because demons have taken over the prison. The second game that's kind of interesting is Ghost Hunter, a PlayStation 2 exclusive developed by one of Sony's internal teams and released in 2004. It's a 3D shooter that rips off Ghostbusters in almost every way possible without getting sued. I already own those two games so I'm leaving everything on the table here. The seller is asking a more than fair price, so hopefully a fellow collector will pick up these games instead of a dirty reseller. Who is this? Dora spelletje for the Nintendo. Okay, that who? This lady is asking 2 euros for all of her DS games. That's not a bad price for brain training. Come my for now flipper cast or something. Here is something you don't see every day, an old wooden pinball machine and the top of a gambling machine? Two of them? I'm not really sure about this, so Hello. let's ask the seller. Hi. That's, an, that's from our pinball uh, cash for yeah. me. Yeah. And, and this uh, comes from the clock machine yeah. or so? That's the score and board from the clock machine. Okay. Oh, I'll part of the scene, uh... nice. Oh, looks cool. Yeah. Yup, I got that right, but the real question is, why would someone have not one, but two scoring boards of gambling machines? The same seller also has some Skylanders, but I already have those. Let's see if we can find the administrator in Baymon somewhere. They might have picked up something that's worth showing you guys. What have you got, Baymon? Hey, now you're going to what have you gekocht? Pokémon. Pokémon gekocht. En? Kijk eens even, maar een mooie doosje is erbij. Wat heb je ervoor gegeven? 5 euro. Ah, dat is niet duur. Niet duur. Oké. In leven. Hij moet ook in beeld. Zullen we... Ga weg maar. This lady has an Xbox for sale with 5 games and 2 controllers for 30 euros. I'm only interested in 2 games. Crash Tag Team Racing and Alien Hominid, a game that could be described as Contra on Alien Crack. You are a yellow alien and you're fighting the FBI. It has to be seen to be believed. So here you go, a short clip. Sadly, the Crash Nitro game isn't in the case, I'm still bummed out by that. But let's try to negotiate a price for the Alien game. No, it's in the Xbox. Oh, that can, yeah, it's in the Xbox. That's also a little thing, then. Yeah. 
Wat zit er in de Xbox zelf helaas? Die zitten wel, hè? Die zitten wel, uh, ja. Zou je hiervoor vragen? Nee, nee. Ik heb eigenlijk geen idee. 2 euro vind ik goed. Ja? Ja. ja. Dan doen we 2 euro. Ja. Baymon is still in great shape for a senior citizen. Nee. I can't keep up with him. Any subscribers interested in some fresh beans? No? What's wrong with you people? And here's some homemade jam. I might pick one or two up. Ja, bedankt hoor. Dit is het enige spulletje wat je nog hebt. We hebben de rest al verkocht voor morgen. Uh, nee, dit is het enige wat mijn zoon uh, te koop heeft. Okay. Casino Royale. I doubt that this is from the 007 James Bond movie, but who knows? It might be. When I saw the CDI logo on this case, I got super excited. But sadly, it's nothing special. Just a music CD with some special features for the CDI player. There aren't any other CDI games here. Now that I think of it, I haven't seen CDI related stuff on flea markets in ages. The first board game of the day. But forget that, check out this creepy troll. Stop staring! Stop staring, freak! This seller has a gigantic box full of old cars and action figures. For me, personally, there's nothing more satisfying than digging up treasures out of a box like this. There are some turtle fish in here from the early 2000s and even a Thundercats action figure from 1985. Well, that about wraps it up everyone. Thanks for watching as always. I also want to give you all a very big thank you for all the nice and funny comments people have been leaving recently. It's great to see that there are still some really nice friendly people on YouTube, which sadly is becoming harder and harder to find. Well, till next time. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I will see you guys in another video. Stay tuned. You will see what I picked up in a few seconds.